Okay then. So now that we're totally doomed, let's figure out what we're going to do. Um, we're going to keep running southward now that we've run northward and go back over there to trade in some units. Should've listened to chat. Should've listened to chat. Let's see, we're gonna go to marching stance, I think. And we're going to make up some ground. You are going to stay in the underway because there is still some damaging ground around here. So that's a thing. I really wish that my city was not in ruins, but you know what? There's nothing I can do about that now, so we're just going to have to deal with it. And you guys, we need to go back up here and take Mount Gunbad. That's what we need to do. Alright, so we have now run up that away. You are raising a wah, or whatever you call it. Um, we need to go up here. Using the underway. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So we'll attack up there next turn. Take our city back and get some more taxes in order. How are you doing? You're healing up quite nicely, actually. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I think that's everything we can do. So hopefully our Kaon will not continue to just smash in all of our settlements over here. That is... Not something that I'm looking forward to. You can't listen to chat, you can only read. I can hear what you're saying though, and listen to it. I can read it to myself and kind of hear it, I suppose. I'm gonna play some Warhammer while I watch Brink play Warhammer so I can Warhammer while I Warhammer. I heard you like a little Warhammer with your Warhammer, bro. This isn't really a bad thing, I mean, I watch Crip and play Hearthstone at the same time. Like, I very rarely ever just play Hearthstone anymore. I play and watch Hearthstone. So I'm consuming double the Hearthstone per hour because that's the only way to have fun with Hearthstone. Okay, maybe that's not entirely true, but time you get my point. Reckoning. So, this is actually a really, really time strong guy. Let's flash in here. Let's go to normal stance and see what our chances are. We're by ourselves, we're gonna retreat. Alright, so if you come and attack me, I am going to have reinforcements there. So we're just gonna leave it at that and we're gonna wait till we double up and take all of that. Um, our Kaon is actually moving back out into the Badlands, so not a problem there. Okie dokie. Am I within striking distance? That is the big question the here. Of nope. We gotta run the out in front. Alright, so we're gonna run one guy way out in front. For the and we're gonna put him Valeria. over here in the back. And no matter which way he runs, one of my guys will be able to attack him next turn. We're gonna pin him in there, corner him. It is time. Get that taken care of. And we're gonna hoppity hop hop this way. Enemy forces, reinforcements expected, okay. I was wondering if I could see what's actually going on in there, but apparently I cannot. Okay, so we're minus 41 again this turn for whatever reason, who knows. And we have 66. So we're not technically bankrupt, but it's not great. Oh, look! Our friendly little chaos uprising is over here again. And I have no one to deal with that at the moment. We're gonna have to run one of those guys over there. This seems to be a game of chasing down problems and never actually getting anything done. It seems like every time I make one teeny tiny little step forward towards the victory conditions, I just get my skull bashed in repeatedly and backtrack just as far. Maybe it's just me. You know why your MacBook Air isn't strong enough to play anything? Because Macs suck. That's why. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, maybe that's a little strong. The manlings of Sigmar came pleading to us once again. They witnessed our devastating flame weapons and beg that we share the secrets to this technology as we once did with black powder. So we can improve our diplomatic relations by 10, which is advantageous if we want to undertake a confederacy later. So I think we're going to do that. 
Um, but I'm bum bum. What do we want to do? What do we don't want to do? Minus 10% costs on all construction. You know what? That is actually a brilliant upgrade. I'm going to go for that. All right. Max spec wise don't suck. Money wise, they suck. Like, you can do better with almost anything else. And it will outperform Mac in that range. Okay, so we're going to go. Tag, come it. We're actually gonna go into the city, I think. Because if we're in the city, he can't. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna take damage. Ah, we are gonna take damage. Tag, come it. Why is this a thing? Okay, so we're just gonna keep chasing him in circles there. Wow, chaos forces are rising up every freaking where. I've gotta get that resolved in the south so I can move up north. Okay, we're gonna take this back and kick the orcs the hell out of our land. That's how this is gonna be. Um, we need, you are in normal stance, you need to be in normal stance as well. You're gonna go as close as you possibly can and you're gonna go and attack all right decisive victory time because he had absolutely nothing absolutely nothing can't do interracial confederation and that sucks well no cuz I do have the option to simply ally with them through a confederacy or whatnot so as long as I'm on good diplomatic terms, I do believe that I can actually um, at least maintain a relationship with their empire well enough to satisfy the victory conditions. So maybe, maybe. Okay, we need to sack this son of a gun because we got to have money, like badly. Badly. Move. Six thousand gold is not too shabby. My I gained a follower off of that too. Wolf. Let's occupy. Yes. There we go. And that gives us the opportunity to also set a commandment the here. There we go. Let us begin. All right, why did it show me a goblin just a second ago when I clicked? Oh, because you're there. All right. Summon me. All right. So let's see. We cannot go to the underway, but we can march that way a little bit, and we can abandon the city and come out. Okay. So Mount Gunbad, what have you got? What have you got? We need to go for a T2 immediately, and we'll get a gatehouse on this thing next turn. This has got a gold mining pit. We're going to upgrade that thing. That is definitely some vital acquisition right there. Okay, so we now have 559 plus and everything looks fine and dandy and golden and wonderful. Maybe we'll actually be able to pull ourselves out of this mess. Skill point. Of course, can't forget the skill point. What is deadly onslaught? Wow. Okay, so that gives us another ability. Interesting. Blade Shield. Melee defense plus four. Next level is melee defense plus ten. Yeah, we need to keep upgrading. Damage buildings to repair, repair in the desolation of Nagash. Why do we have a chaos uprising down here? Why is this a thing? Cannot build. It is under siege. Chaos just rears its ugly head all over the place, and it gets really, really annoying. So much chaos. Yeah, these guys are building strength over here. Before long, this is going to become a major problem. Um, we are at the highest tier on this side, so not really much to worry about there. However, we can probably get a little more income right here. Tis only a trinket. Oh, Freaking A, that was the one that I was supposed to build.
Can I, can I deselect that? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to be building an armory. There we go. Now I got it right. See, sometimes these things slip my memory. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. Yes. All right. We need to take a turn, I think. There we go. Chaos uprisings are due to chaos corruption, which spreads everywhere as long as our Kaon is alive. So I need to kill our Kaon to solve all of this problem. Well then, that is definitely something that I should do. Decisive defeat. Well, yes, that would be a thing. <sighs> Unfortunately, our Kaon is exceedingly mighty and I am not going to be able to defeat him very easily. So, Vorgaz, Foe Spike by Thyke Orcbane. Um, we're gonna auto resolve this. Which one is that? I think that is in the Northern Pass there. If that's the case, then this is awesome because this will free up two of my armies to come back south. It is, in fact, up there by Mount Gunbad. Did that eliminate? I think that eliminated, um, yeah, that eliminated the entirety of the orc threat up here. All right, so southward we go. For the wisdom of Valea, the tongue agrees. March. Ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show All right. Axes, lads. We move. We're going to be heading this direction. Got to come back south and get all this crap taken care of. So what this means is that Show I am actually able dare. to... Move over here. Forwards. Well, crud. Once I move, I can't exchange troops then. Aye. You only get Send one move in the underway. Vengeance. That yes. sucks. Why you gotta be like that, game? All these restrictive move commands. Oh, well. Alright, so you have yeah, now run way the hell up war. there. And I cannot catch you. So we're going to run Let's way up there. This. I'm gonna grab you. You're gonna go to marching stance. And you're gonna run over there. And we're gonna try to get this guy pinned in before he's at completely full strength and just do something with him. Because good lord, that's taking forever. Alright, we're minus 93 again, but it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. We've moved all of our troops, and we are golden. I realize I have damaged buildings. I can't actually do anything about that. Ooh, a trade agreement. Hell to the yes. That is going to solve my money problems. Right there. I don't care anymore. Archaeon is just going to wreck my entire province. I have come to terms with this, and I am at peace. No big dealio. No big dealio. Although he is now moving towards my beloved empire, and I do not want to him to take the Mighty Midget Fortress. That would be a bad thing. Run, little people. Use those stubby little legs. You gotta make it back in time to reinforce. Okay, finally, after many a turn spent doing jack squat, we're going to exchange units. So I've got, um, let's see, gyrocopters. We need both of the cannons. What do we got, 11? All right, so we got both of those. Let's do all of the highest veterancy longbeards. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got three more. Um, let's do, we got a lot of long range stuff already. But then again, we were having trouble countering their long range things. So let's do the most upgraded Thunderer. What is that still doing here? Why do I still have a miner in my force? That's weird. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need two more. Let's do one of these and one of these, I think. Yes. 
As the High King commands. All right, Thorgrim Grudgebear, Ready? you are now an official badass at full strength. So we are going to go yes. to normal marching orders and undertake this fight once again. Well, dang. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> yeah, you better hope Archaea never comes to your home territory, that's for sure. I forgot my freaking banners again! Holy crap! Why? Why is this a thing? I have not built up this habit. Behold! The stone fruits of the engineer's guild's labor! New All right. flying gyro machines will take to the air! So, come on now. Why are you not do the thing? There we go. Okay, so we need to reevaluate our strategy again. Um, let's do Hi. one, two, three. Yes, we're gonna do three and go control one. Vengeance. One, two, three. Long beards. The clans unite. All right, that Long didn't work. Beards. Okay, so that's all set. So we've got three different groups of troops. And then we need. Ah. Let's do. They have wronged us. Those, you can't. Okay. That's unfortunate. We're going to do all four of the Thunderers on Control 4, Control 5, Control 6, and 7. Alright. Everything is grouped up. Now, <clears throat> if I was... Run straight in and slaughter everything there. Strategy done. <laughs> okay. Gyrocopter bombs. So I have an ability on those. Yes, I did not realize that, and I definitely need to use those next time. Okay, so I'm trying to decide here if I should try to go after one side or just, like, straight up charge the hill. If I just charge the hill, I'm probably going to get hit so hard from this side, it's not even going to be funny. So what I think I'm going to do, actually, we're going to go over to this side and try to get in on the action. All right, all of that is set. Let's take all of our cannons as well, place them right over here, and then we need our groupings of long-range stuff. All right, we're going to start all over in this corner. We're going to do our flat level best to attack the people on this side and wipe out the entire reinforcing regiment before we get into the main part of the battle. Maybe it will work. Maybe it will work. It looks like they're going to join. Okay, so seven... Start attacking there, please. And let's go... What do we got? Alright, everybody move over here. So the gyrocopters, we need to select a bomb and go after somebody. This might actually work. We are going to hit them very hard. <laughs> we just need to eliminate all of this crap before we get hit by the other army. Alright, so all of that is doing reasonably well. Let's grab seven. We got two bombs total. So that's a thing. Um, let's go ahead and attack there. You guys come back. 
Come back here. We don't need to. We don't need to be running all the way out there. Let's drop the other bomb. Oh no! It dropped. Apparently, the right click also dropped. Well, that sucks. Charge in, guys. Charge in. Alright, got another charge coming in from this side. Please don't die. Please don't die. Let's uh, let's hit these back here. That looks like a good target. Hit there, please. Thank you. Shall we go to melee? I don't think so. Let's just attack those in the rear. Alright, so all of those are fleeing. It looks like we're doing a pretty dang good job of evening up the odds over here. All of those are running. We've got fresh troops in the back. Let's go ahead and use those on these. Those look fine. So save their butts on this side. We're going to use our speed boost on the charge over there. All right. No need to chase. No need to chase. Just target things in range. Target things in range. That's all you need to do. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Alright, we need... Let's charge... Charge the rear forces here. Now that we've cleared that up. What do we got moving in on this side? We've got the whole new force moving in. But I think that'll be fine. You, let's attack. Attack. Attack the ones that are readily available, please. There you go. Just got to get all these cleared up. That other force is coming in hot. Yeah, just run them out of town. Run them out of town. That's all we need. An enemy lord is dead. Good freaking deal. Alright, we need to start grouping our forces back up. I would like all of you to attack there. Yeah, get get out. No, gyrocopters, no. Alright, we need to charge back. They're gonna be a little exhausted coming in, but we gotta get in range. Come on, guys. Hit it. Hit it up. Hit it up. Okay, long range. We need to start hitting all of those. Good deal. Good deal. We got everybody backed. Um, let's do... Let's charge you. I need to get everybody in right here. Oh crap. How do I swap to um Melee? Alright, we're gonna go in melee. This may not work especially well, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um hit. Hit. And that's not good. We're gonna lose our cannons over that. Ah uh, no. All right, so trying to get those shredded, but I'm not sure how well that's actually going to work. Hopefully the gyrocopters can save some of our cannons. Ick, ick, and double ick. Um, you guys retreat. We need to get back into shelter. All of you guys, target there. Nope, target there long range. That is a better target. All right, so we're running them off. That is actually a worthy cause, because it's going to save our cannons alive. Target there, please. Those guys are doing reasonably well. It's two versus one, but I believe those are Thunderers trying to fight. We're fighting their chief right here. If we can kill them, we might break the line. So that's, that is a good thing. 
a lot of their troops are starting to weaken up quite severely. So that is definitely a good thing. Um, gyrocopters, come back, please. We need to assist. Get that. We've got three out of four of the shamans. Three out of four of the shamans. All right, gyrocopters, do the nasty there, bud. Is that the last one? Nope, that's Great Axe Infantry. Well, we're staying rallied regardless of how low the troop count is getting, so that's good. Um, let's start backing these guys up over here. And you go that way, please. Yes, driving them off. It's good, it's good. All right, cannons, we need to start punching the crap out of these guys. Um, actually, we're going to stay here because we need to be able to defend those. I think we're actually good. I think we're good. This is going to work. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, we're going to charge these guys. They're they're running. They're turning tail. It is heavy, heavy losses, but we've got it. Fill the bar. It's a victory! Archers and pistoliers can be deadly. Target those with a... Okay, never mind. Ugh. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm not going to complain. I hope it was at least a little better that time. Maybe not so excruciatingly bad. Pulled out what was statistically a slightly under, I think it gave me like a 45% chance of victory, maybe 50-50. And pulled a Pyrrhic victory. Wow. Lost two thirds of our troops again. Killed just under two thirds of their troops. But we eliminated two of the war leaders. So that's good. Yowzers, that's bad. All right, 1500 experience for Thorgrim Grudgebear and we got the Axe of Grimnir. Nice, very nice. Huge bonuses on that. Minus 5% upkeep on all units, minus 10% recruitment cost, huge bonuses to combat, and plus 10% to the post-battle loot amount. We are sure as hell it is time. going to enable that. Um, weapon, the Axe of Grimnir, yes. Okay, good deal. That is freaking awesome. And we do have a skill point. Let's uh, go grab one of those. Good freaking dealio. All right, so now that we've done all that mess, we need to go marching stance. Can't really go anywhere useful, so we're just going to sit right there. All right. Got to start moving back up north now. Oh, look. We're finally in range. We're finally in range. We can eliminate this plague on society. Yes, I would love to declare war. All right. He's done for. I believe he is the only surviving member of his faction as well. So if we kill him, he's doomed. Summon me if you dare. Yeah, that's right. That's right, you're down. <laughs> Wave your axes in the air. Skull takers have been obliterated. Good freaking dealio. All right, we got 5,000 in the bank. Let's actually go and occupy a city. Because that'll get us out of the badlands. We'll be able to regen a bit. We'll be fine. Good freaking deal. Okay. So you, you are under marching orders, and we are going to try 
to go towards let's let's go towards Barakvar. Um, I got ah there we go. A little spot to stand in. Good deal, good deal. Where's the Chaos Warriors? There is our Kaon. We have already moved him. Yes, we've already moved him. I forget what I've already moved. I mean, when it's been like 15 minutes since you looked at it, sometimes it gets a little a little weird. Okay, so you guys, we're actually going to move to the northeast. And we're going to take care of these two guys on the way up. And then hopefully we'll be able to meet in a massive conglomeration of forces in the north very soon and whip our Kaon into safe. I know, but I can't do anything about it. You should be proud. I was going super try hard on that one. <laughs> that was uh that was interesting. Very interesting. It is starting to make a little more sense, the battle system now, but it's still kind of annoying. Alright, looks like we're gonna lose that one. War me down, war me down. But that's okay. We'll take it back in just a moment. More rebellions, more nastiness. It's all the same. Oh, you just went ahead and plowed that city under, didn't you? Where did you go? Did you just disappear? You accomplished your mission and now you're gone? There is no more uprising? You raised the city and just stayed in it and that was your form of suicide? Is that how this is? That how this is? All right, so a northward trajectory is probably best. We're going to go up there. You're already in the underway. Right up there. Good, good dealio. Oh, look. More orcs. Every time you crush an orc encampment, another one springs up. Um, you are at 13 out of 20, but that is probably more than sufficient to kill him. So we're actually going to send you back south. You, on the other hand, did I forget to, I forgot to rebuild there. Build a dwarf hold. Um, you, on the other hand, we are going to start moving. Let's let's hop over to Barakvar, I think. Yep, yep. Colonize that son of a gun. Good deal. And let's go ahead and build a hold there as well. All right. Looking good, looking good. Although that is not looking quite so good. Archaon is encamped right outside my doorstep. Um, yeah, we're gonna hop. We all right. One more round of walking, and we'll be within range of that. Okay, so we need a stronghold, which we cannot afford. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't need a stronghold anyway. Okay, I think that is going to wrap that little round of movements. Ooh, we got a skill point. What do we got? What do we got? We're going to go for Resolute. Finish out those early ones. Um, wow. Their offers of payments keep going up. We're going... Oh, look! We're trustworthy now. We're trustworthy. We should all celebrate. I am the number one strength in the entirety of the land, other than maybe Archaon. Are you kidding me? You skipped the stronghold and you went straight for the city. You, sir, are a douchebag. I am very not thrilled. <sighs> oh well. Do I think that two of my forces are enough to take on Archaon? They are probably not, but I would like to just take a look over there at least and see what his strength level actually is. Okay, we're going to take you. We're going to go to marching stance. What about underway? About the same difference. We're going to hop to that little spot of trees right over there. All right, so you're going that way. You are going this way. Yes. Good deal. We're probably going to get reinforcements from the city, so that is okay. Good deal. 
and you two are going to continue on your way northward. I don't really want to swap. I want to just... There we go. I want to just move that way. And then we'll keep hopping towards that sign. Oh, good lord, I'm minus 1,000. Holy freaking hell, I am going to go bankrupt. What can I do to solve this problem? Um, I can't really afford to give up strength on any of my forces. Maybe... Time for a reckoning. What do we got here? Let's combine these. That's 1,000. I know this reduces my combat potential, but I mean, I got to do it. All right, so that's good. Buying you, that gives me two. All right, so I won't go bankrupt, but that still, that still blows. I mean, that is bad, bad, bad. All right, let's see what our chances are here. I'm going to walk right up to you. Summon me if you Oh crud. Begin. It is time. We're gonna stand right next to him and see what happens. He's probably gonna go take Mount Squighorn from me next turn. It's probably how this is gonna go down. Sigh. Okay. Well, let's take a turn. In Blightwater? Why do I have damaged buildings in Blightwater? I don't see a chaos there. I don't understand. What is this? What happened? It's so weird. Okay. Whatever. I can't afford to repair it right now. Wow, the payments keep increasing. But nope, not gonna do it. You can get him if you manual fight with two armies versus his one. Well, look at this. There is a massive advantage towards me. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. I will freaking take that. Okay, they demand $100, 100 gold, I should say. Not $100, it's 100 gold. And a non-aggression pact, and we sign a non-aggression pact. So... Um... You are at war with Warriors of Chaos... Scaling and Varg. I do not actually care about that. And you are allied with the Empire and Bretonia. So we can actually go for a non aggression pact with this, and I'm okay paying 100. Because that will improve relations, and we might be able to assimilate them later. Okay, good. Good diddly good good. An enemy force, yeah, yeah. Besieging someone in the Western Badlands. Let's go look at that. Ah, yes. All right, let's go whoop him. For the wisdom of the we'll do this little battle here and then I'm probably gonna call it for the week. I agree. Fog them. Beat his face in. Tricky Trifaba. Trifra Tifraba. What is Tifraba? Oh, Teeth Robber. Tricky Teeth Robber. Okay. It makes sense. I got it. I got it. Alright, so we got rid of the raiding influence. That is going to take care of some of that. So that's good. Um, we need to find... Where is Archaon? He is over here, and he has been... 
soundly defeated, I don't think I can actually go attack him. Yes, I can. Kill him dead. Oh, wow. Like, I have a full strength army and it's just him by himself. And he, it's still only a 75% chance. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. The Warriors of Chaos have been obliterated. I am not going to complain about that. Oh, crud. Um, we need to go, yeah, we need to occupy this. Colonize, colonize. We get a reward. We get some money in the treasury. And we're gonna do that. Okie dokie. I think I'm gonna stop there. We will continue on with uh, moving northward, capturing our settlements, and then expanding towards the west across the ridge of the mountains here. Good lord, that's a lot of carnage over there. Uh, we're going to have to get all of those under our control in order to meet the wind conditions for this, but I feel like we're making good progress. I think that things are lining up much better than they were a few episodes ago, and yeah, there's still a little bit of a road before us. Got a couple more weeks in this anyway, but looks like we're getting somewhere. Anywho, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.